What's up, you guys? Tom is back with another Lincense video. And today I got two fragrances to discuss. That is YSL La Noit de Lome and La Noit de Lome Le Parfum. There they go, right there. Both beautiful bottles. Excellent craftsmanship on that bottle. At the top, you got that YSL logo. There you go. It's like a big old stop sign with the YSL printed right there. And this one actually has my logo on it. Lincense 83. There you go. Um, now, the original La Nuit, doesn't matter what badge code you got. Uh, there might be a difference in performance or whatever. But the smell on this stuff, you guys, is amazing. Probably one of the best fragrances that you can wear um, of all time. Um, the smell is just exquisite. It's uh, sensual. It's seductive. It's just a beautiful scent. Um, La Parfum uh, just released not too long ago. Uh, we're going to see if this one is any better than the original or is the original still the king, okay? Now, with the La Nuit, um, the top notes are going to be cardamom, just cardamom. So that's where I think this thing shines a lot. There's not that many notes um, in the opening that are fighting against each other. It's just that one note in cardamom, you know, is going to kind of be like that little spice, sweet. Um, and then in the middle, we got lavender, cedar, and bergamot. So you're going to get a little woodiness with it as well, a little bit of citrus with the bergamot. And then at the base, we got, I believe that is caraway and vetiver, okay? Um, vetiver is kind of like that, it's going to give you like that, um, I don't know what the hell it's going to give you. It's just going to give you a vetiver note, all right? And now the La Nuit, the Parfum, the top we got pepper, star anise, and then bergamot. So you're going to kind of get a licorice smell mixed with that pepper. Then in the middle, we got fruity notes, lavender, labdanum. And then at the base, we got vanilla, patchouli, and vetiver as well, okay? So at the base, both got vetiver. One has caraway, the other one has vanilla and patchouli. Um, in the middle, lavender for one, cedar and bergamot. The other one has fruity notes, lavender and labdanum. So again, we got lavender in both middle notes. But at the top is where they just differ a lot, okay? So like I said, the La Nuit has just the cardamom. That's the only note in there. And then in the Parfum, you got Pepper, Star, Nice, and Bergamot, okay? So, I'm going to spray the original on the left hand, the La Parfum on the right, and I'm going to let you know, is the original still the king, okay? Like I said, this La Nuit is just so beautiful, you guys. Like, when you spray this on and you get those whiffs throughout the day, you're going to just be thinking to yourself, like, damn, something sure smells good, and the whole time it's going to be, okay? So this is just beautiful stuff. So spray it away on the left. Nice big old blast. Man, you just smell that right through the air, right off the back. Huh. And then let that pop on. This one, the sprayer, I don't know about this sprayer. It was kind of a, just a crap load of juice on that one. So maybe it was just, maybe I didn't press it right, but do not do not just spray that right away, like on your shirt, like do the neck first. And right away, you just get that big old blast of cardamom. Got a little bit of bergamot in the back. Getting a little cedar. Man, this scent is just amazing, you guys. Lavender kind of gives it like a nice clean, um, like fabric softener type smell as well with the cardamom. Bergamot. It's not too citrusy though. So bergamot's probably in there. I'm not getting too much of bergamot, but it's probably just hidden in there just enough to make the other things pop, okay? But man, that is just... Let's go with this La Parfum real quick. So much much different okay way different man that not really getting too many fruits but i'm getting that pepper and that star anise right now just a little bergamot in the background just a little citrus hmm man i just like doing this too once in a while because then you get them 
beautiful whiffs. Man, I don't know. Okay, now I'm starting to get a little bit of fruitiness now in those mid notes on this La Parfum. Not getting too much lavender, but maybe it's that labdum. Just a nice little touch of vanilla all the way in the background. You can't really smell it that much, but it's just a little bit there. But yes, definitely I'm getting a lot of that black pepper and then that star anise is going to give you kind of like that licorice -y smell. Works well with that black pepper. All right, man. They're definitely both two different fragrances, okay? So I really don't get La Nuit from the La Parfum at all, okay? They're totally different, separate. Um, if I had to choose to get one, it would still be the original. It is just, it's just so beautiful. It's, you know, the top note just with that cardamom is just a beautiful scent. You don't have many different smells trying to compete with each other like the La Parfum. But the La Parfum on its own as well is definitely beautiful as well. That pepper and that star anise and that bergamot. Man, that is actually, that's a, man, it really is a toss up. Um, they're definitely both suited for like a, a nice date night fragrance, um, fall or winter, definitely both suited for that. Um, man, but if I had to pick, I'm gonna have, gonna have to go with the original, the La Nuit. Um, just something about this stuff, guys, that is just amazing. Again, I can't wait to go outside and get those breezes so I can smell this stuff all day, but La Nuit, the original is the winner, but not by much, you guys. This one's, it's not like it's just dust in the floor with this one. This one is sexy as well, too. So if you guys need to get this one as well, definitely go out there and buy it. I was actually um, lucky to get this off of uh, the YSL website. They actually had a 40% off in this one. Um, and was able to get a free incense engraved into that bottle. So that was a nice little touch to that bottle. Both bottles look nice. Um, so when it just comes down to it, it's based off the smell. And I'm going to have to give the win to La Nuit, the original. Okay. There you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace out. Yeah. Hey, you guys. The wifey is actually with me on this one. Um, she is actually going to let you know which one she actually thinks is the best of the two. So, again, we got La Nuit. On the left hand, I'm going to spray one more just so she can get that first initial opening. La Parfum is going on the right. Man, this one shoots out a lot of juice. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Wait, let me smell that one. And this one one more time. I'm actually going to go with this one. I like this one better. Man, that star niece in there really pops in this one. Man, that is, it's, it really is tough, you guys. Um, they're both very nice fragrances, so you cannot go wrong with either one. Me, personally, I would have to go with the original. The wife, he says, the La Parfum. So it's 1-1. One, one. If my dog can smell these things and let me know which one he thinks is best, we can have a tiebreaker right now. But that's all you guys get right now. Tie, 1-1. One, one. But... Since it's my video, the winner goes to La Nuit, the original. It goes to the wife if he wants to sleep good tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to be allowed in the house again tonight. <laughs> I'll be picking that one. But there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the little cameo. Bye, guys. Peace out. Yeah.